In physics, nothing is often referred to as a vacuum, which is a space devoid of matter and energy. A vacuum can be created artificially by removing all the air molecules from a sealed container. Even in a vacuum, there are still virtual particles that pop in and out of existence due to the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. The uncertainty principle states that the more precisely we know the position of a particle, the less precisely we can know its momentum. This means that at the quantum level, particles can appear and disappear spontaneously without any external cause. These particles are called virtual particles because they don't exist in the same way that normal particles do. They exist only as fleeting fluctuations in energy. The vacuum energy of empty space is also thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. This energy, also known as dark energy, is the energy associated with the vacuum, and it's thought to be responsible for the repulsive force that's driving galaxies apart from each other at an accelerating rate. So, in summary, the concept of nothing refers to the absence of anything, but even in a vacuum, there are still virtual particles and vacuum energy that exist due to the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. While nothing may seem like a simple concept, it's actually quite complex and has important implications for our understanding of the universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. This singularity contained all the matter and energy that would eventually form the universe as we know it today. At the very beginning, the universe was incredibly hot and dense, and the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces were unified into a single force. As the universe expanded, it cooled down, and the four fundamental forces began to separate. At around 10 to the power of 43 seconds after the Big Bang, a period of inflation occurred, during which the universe expanded rapidly, stretching out any small inhomogeneities and making the universe look almost completely homogeneous and isotropic. As the universe continued to cool and expand, protons and neutrons began to form, and these combined to form the first atomic nuclei, mainly hydrogen and helium. These elements eventually combined to form stars, which produced heavier elements through nuclear fusion and supernova explosions. The Big Bang Theory has been supported by a variety of observations and experiments, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. However, it's still unclear what caused the singularity to come into existence. In fact, the laws of physics as we know them break down when we try to describe what happened at the very beginning of the universe, so it's difficult to say anything definitive. One possibility is that quantum fluctuations in the early universe might have triggered the formation of the singularity. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that describes the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic level, and it introduces the concept of uncertainty. According to the uncertainty principle, particles can appear and disappear spontaneously without any external cause. In the early universe, when the universe was incredibly hot and dense, there were high energy fluctuations that might have caused the formation of the singularity. These fluctuations would have been quantum mechanical in nature, meaning that they arose spontaneously from the inherent uncertainty of the quantum world. Another possibility is that the singularity is a consequence of a more fundamental theory of physics that we have yet to discover. The singularity might be a sign that our current understanding of physics is incomplete and that there are still deeper principles at play that we haven't uncovered yet. Causality is the concept that every event must have a cause. In our everyday experience, this seems to be true. Every effect we observe can be traced back to some cause that produced it. However, when we try to apply this concept to the singularity that started the universe's expansion, things get a bit tricky. At the singularity, the laws of physics break down, making it impossible to determine what caused the singularity to come into existence. This means that causality, as we understand it, might not be a valid concept when trying to describe the origins of the universe. The laws of physics as we know them only apply to the universe as it exists now. They can't tell us anything about what happened at the very beginning, when the universe was incredibly hot and dense, and when space and time were still being created. At that point, the laws of physics break down, 
and we're left with uncertainty. So while causality may be a useful concept in our everyday experience, it may not apply when we're trying to describe the origins of the universe. At the singularity, there might not be a cause in the traditional sense of the word. Instead, the singularity might be a fundamental aspect of the universe, something that just is, without any explanation beyond that. The concept of infinite regression arises when we assume that everything must have a cause. If we take this assumption to its logical conclusion, we would need to ask the question, what caused the cause, for every event that occurs? This leads to an infinite chain of causes, with each cause requiring another cause to explain it. However, this infinite chain of causes is logically impossible. If we always require a cause for every event, then we would never be able to arrive at the beginning of the chain. This means that we must accept that there are some things, like the singularity, that may not have a cause. In the case of the singularity, it's impossible to determine what caused it to come into existence. We can't trace its origins back any further because the laws of physics break down at that point. Therefore, we must accept that the singularity is a fundamental aspect of the universe that just is, without any further explanation. This is similar to the concept of a first cause, which is the idea that there must be some uncaused cause that started everything else in motion. In the case of the singularity, it might be that there is no first cause, and that the singularity is simply a fundamental aspect of the universe. While science is highly effective in explaining the physical properties of the universe, it cannot answer all questions about the nature of existence, causality, or consciousness. For example, science can tell us how the universe came into existence and how it works, but it cannot tell us why it exists or what caused it to come into being. These questions fall under the domain of philosophy, which is concerned with the study of fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, values, and reality. Philosophers use reason and critical thinking to examine these questions and develop theories and arguments that attempt to provide answers. In the context of the origin of the universe, different philosophical schools offer different perspectives on the matter. For example, some philosophers argue that the existence of the universe requires a cause, while others argue that the universe is eternal and doesn't require a cause. Additionally, philosophy is also concerned with questions about consciousness and the mind. While science can tell us a great deal about how the brain works, it cannot fully explain the nature of consciousness or subjective experience. Philosophers have developed a variety of theories about consciousness, ranging from dualism, the idea that the mind and body are separate entities, to materialism, the idea that all mental states are ultimately reducible to physical states. Many religious people believe that God created the universe out of nothing. The concept of God is often described as a being who is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-good. According to this belief, God created the universe with a specific purpose in mind and has the power to intervene in the world in order to bring about his desired ends. However, the idea of a creator God raises questions about the nature of God, the source of God's power, and the purpose of creation. For example, if God created the universe out of nothing, then where did God come from? If God is all-powerful, then why is there evil and suffering in the world? And if God has a specific purpose for the universe, then what is that purpose? Philosophers and theologians have developed a variety of theories to answer these questions. For example, some argue that God exists outside of time and space and is therefore not subject to the same rules as the universe. Others argue that God allows evil and suffering in order to bring about greater good or to give humans free will. The concept of God also raises questions about the relationship between faith and reason. While religious believers often rely on faith as a way of knowing about God, philosophers have developed rational arguments for the existence of God. For example, the cosmological argument asserts that the existence of the universe requires a cause, which is often identified as God. As humans, our understanding of the universe is limited by our capacity for comprehension. While science has made incredible progress in understanding the physical properties of the universe, there are still many mysteries that remain unsolved, and there may be some questions that we may never be able to answer. For example, as we discussed earlier, the Big Bang Theory provides an explanation for the origins of the universe, 
but it cannot explain what caused the singularity to come into existence. Similarly, while we have made significant progress in understanding the nature of dark matter and dark energy, we still do not fully understand what they are. Furthermore, our understanding of the universe is limited by our perspective and the tools we use to study it. For example, our current understanding of the universe is based on observations of light, which is limited to the visible spectrum. We cannot observe the universe using other types of radiation, such as radio waves or x-rays, without specialized tools. Despite these limitations, we can continue to explore the mysteries of the universe and appreciate its beauty and complexity. While we may never be able to fully understand the universe, our pursuit of knowledge and understanding can lead to new discoveries and a deeper appreciation of the wonders of the cosmos. The idea of creation assumes that there was a point in time when the universe did not exist and then it was brought into existence by some external force. However, this assumption is based on a human-centric view of the universe, where time and space are absolute and fixed. In reality, the universe is a complex and dynamic system that is constantly changing and evolving. Time and space are relative and interconnected, meaning that they are not fixed and absolute but are influenced by the presence of matter and energy. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe started as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. However, this singularity was not a point in space and time, but rather a state of the universe where the laws of physics as we know them do not apply. As the universe expanded and cooled, space and time emerged, along with the fundamental particles that make up matter. Thus, while the universe may not have existed in its current form for all of eternity, it has always existed in some form. The concept of creation assumes that there was a time when the universe did not exist, but this assumption is based on a human-centric view of the universe that does not take into account the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. The concept of multiple universes, also known as the multiverse theory, suggests the existence of other universes beyond our own. These universes may have different physical laws, properties, and dimensions, which means they could be vastly different from our own universe. One version of the multiverse theory is the inflationary theory, which proposes that the universe underwent a period of rapid expansion after the Big Bang. During this expansion, different regions of space could have stretched out at different rates, creating bubble-like structures that could contain other universes. Another version of the multiverse theory is the string theory, which suggests the existence of 10 or 11 dimensions of space-time, instead of the four dimensions, three dimensions of space and one dimension of time, we experience. According to this theory, our universe is just one of many possible universes that exist in the other dimensions. While the concept of multiple universes is intriguing, it is still a highly speculative idea that lacks empirical evidence. However, researchers continue to explore the possibilities of the multiverse theory through various experiments and observations. The role of scientific inquiry is to explore and understand the physical properties and behavior of the universe through empirical evidence and logical reasoning. Scientists use a systematic approach to study the natural world, which involves observation, experimentation, and analysis. One of the key strengths of scientific inquiry is its ability to provide empirical evidence for various theories and hypotheses. Through careful experimentation and observation, scientists can test the validity of their ideas and theories and make predictions about how the universe should behave under different conditions. For example, the Big Bang Theory is a scientific theory that explains the origin and evolution of the universe based on observational evidence, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation and the abundance of light elements in the universe. Scientists continue to explore and refine the Big Bang Theory through new observations and experiments, which help to further our understanding of the universe. The question of who or what created the universe is one of the most fundamental and enduring mysteries of human existence. While science can provide insights into the physical properties and behavior of the universe, it cannot answer questions about the nature of existence or consciousness. Philosophy and religion offer different perspectives on the matter, but ultimately, the question of who created the universe may be unanswerable. However, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is what drives us as a species, and through scientific inquiry and philosophical exploration, we can continue to expand our horizons and appreciate the wonder and complexity of the universe.